Sawadee Kap. I'm JP Mistanza. It's January 8th. Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by... An order from the Phuket Provincial Office yesterday is once again making face masks mandatory in public in Phuket or face a fine of up to 20,000 baht or even jail time. Officials clarified today that the only times where it is allowed to remove the face masks is while eating and while exercising in public, although officials urged people away from crowded areas and to wear the masks before and after those tasks. The provincial order for all people in Phuket to wear face masks at all times while in public follows Prime Minister Prayut Chanucha earlier this week, extending the emergency decree from January 16th till February 28th. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Hotels across Phuket that had reopened in the hope of attracting enough guests to at least pay operating costs, they're now closing again according to Kongsak Kupong Sakon president of the Thailand Hotels Association Southern Chapter. As the COVID pandemic has continued in Phuket, some local operators were able to get by with domestic tourists. But now, the COVID outbreaks have taken their toll on the country, forcing lockdowns in certain provinces and domestic travel essentially cut after Phuket officials announced a quarantine for people coming from 28 red zone provinces, including Bangkok, which is the majority of domestic arrivals to Phuket. In addition, the GM of the Phuket International Airport confirms that six airlines reduced the number of flights to Phuket. In all of 2020, the airport of Thailand reported that domestic arrivals to Phuket were down 69.3% year on year. Hotels expert Gong Sak said the current outbreak is now causing deep, long-term damage to Phuket's tourism infrastructure, and some hotel operators may announce later this year that they will sell their hotels at 50 to even 60% less than its value. He went on to call on the government to have clear measures on soft loans and moratoriums on debt and interest, otherwise more businesses are set to close permanently. Meanwhile, hotel operators in the north are calling on the government to subsidize 50% of monthly salaries to help employees in the industry. For more on this, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra, we are back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The Revenue Department is announcing that at the moment there is no plan to extend the deadline for filing of personal income tax this year. The Director General of the Revenue Department said yesterday he has not received instructions from the head of the Finance Ministry regarding any deadline extension. Last year, the filing deadline was pushed from the end of March to the end of August to help ease the financial burden on many households affected by the coronavirus pandemic. In the current fiscal year, the filing commenced this month and will continue until the end of March or April 8th for online filing. Officials confirmed today 205 new COVID-19 cases, including 131 local infections found in the country. New cases were found in a number of provinces, including Samut Sakon, Bangkok, and Chomburi. The new total number of cases for Thailand is 9,841, 53% of total patients have recovered, and the death toll is now at 67. Thank you for joining us at Phuket Extra today, brought to you by the lyrics below. Catch us again next week. We'll see you then. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. คุณมองเห็นอะไรมั้ยครับถ้ามองไม่เห็นเดี๋ยวเราจะย้อนภาพให้ดูทีละมุมถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี